<clears throat> what a night. I've never had cold feet in my life. <laughs> and my feet have been freezing all night long. I don't know if I even slept an hour altogether. Not to mention, I guess I must be a little bit dehydrated because if I tried to like put my legs up to me, you know, instead of keeping them stretched out, I was getting cramps. If I tried to reach down and touch my feet, my hamstrings were cramping. Uh, so it's 5.30 now. This is usually what time I get up, so... <clears throat> My stomach growled and rolled all night long. Jeez. One night of being out here without food was definitely different than different experience than I've ever had before, I guess. So um, I'd like to keep laying here because I'm completely exhausted and would like to try and fall asleep. But I'm so cold that I'm going to have to get up and start a fire and get my feet warm. The whole feet being cold dill was all night long. I mean, they just feel like they're on fire. So, I'm going to get up. I'm going to see if I can get a fire going. And just start warming up until the sun comes up. I got about an hour. So. Okay, let's do that. Okay, guys. I made out my hammock. Got my rain jacket on. Just because I am absolutely freezing, it's gotta be, I don't know, it's gotta only be about 20 degrees out here. Water bottle was frozen, I know that are, you know, starting to freeze, so. This right here, when you're using a flint striker like I am, uh, this is old man's beard. I don't know if you guys can even see what I'm doing here, but I'm just on these, this is just a dead pine, but this stuff right here is a lifesaver to start a fire with so I'm gonna get all this bundled up put on top of this little fire with some small little tinder and see if I can get a fire going I mean I feel like I could just lay down in this fire if I get it going I'm so cold and I'm not one to say that I'm cold I'll tell you that so uh, all right so it took me a minute to get the fire going but man it's got twigs on there mostly right now. God, it feels good. I'll get some bigger wood here in a second. And once I get a good uh, cold bed going there and the flames are down, I'm gonna have to take my shoes off and just let them sit here by the fire. My feet are so cold. <laughs> My biggest problem, besides being cold, is my is cramping. I just uh, I just pushed too hard yesterday. I just I did over ten miles, and I should have probably done half that. Well, finally got a little daylight here. I got my fire going. I laid out here. I got warmed up. Got my feet warm. And now, uh, more troubles. My Garmin watch is dead. I use this thing to track myself and keep track of my miles and everything, and I'd really like to have it charged. I do have a battery pack to charge all that, uh, everything, but my battery pack is, uh, is almost dead. I charged my phone last night. Phone is charged, but it's, uh, if I charge my watch, I won't have any more battery pack, I don't think, so... Then I can't charge my phone again, which kind of puts the trip in a, in a different situation here. So I got to figure this out. I need, I got to have my phone. My phone's got to be charged at least to be able to contact Casey because um, she won't know where I'm at. I, I've, I set this trip up to, to hike several miles a day, camp in different areas, and uh, there's no way I'll be able to even uh, get in contact with her to come get me if I need her to before our uh, rendezvous point that we had set up for the last day. So may have to cut this trip short, get a new battery pack, try again in a couple weeks, but still a wild, wild day yesterday. A lot of hiking, 
Then I about froze last night. And I'm freezing now, but uh, I'm going to get packed up, let these coals burn out, get this all covered up, and uh, we'll get out of here, and then I'll figure out what we're going to do. Starting out straight up. I'm already tired. It's not too bad, but it looks like maybe a couple hundred feet climbing up through this. And then maybe get in a little more open area, but it sure is cold. Well, instead of hot coffee, we're having icy water. <laughs> The more, <clears throat> the more I hike, the colder it gets. Just kind of come up out of all that there. Finally found another little trail. Oh, and I feel pretty good actually. What I should have done, there's a road about three miles from here. I should have had Casey drop me off there. I should have came back in this area right here camped <coughs> foraged for whatever I could to eat and drink for three days met her back at the same road and then she would have known that I would have been back in here am I off the phone uh, if she couldn't get in contact with me she would have known where I'm at right now she has no clue where I'm at uh, I mean I do because I have a map but I'm not able to ping her you know there's definitely not any service so yeah, I think I need to rethink this whole situation. I won't be able to even get a hold of her till tonight, so I gotta preserve my phone a little bit. I'm gonna stop and charge it here in a couple hours. <clears throat> but maybe you need to reevaluate just because, you know, I mean, I, I know I can make it out here, but something could go wrong at home and they, they need to come get me, or something could go wrong with me. I could simply twist my ankle. There I'd be with no way to get a hold of anybody. I mean, and I want this to be fun, not uh, harmful to me, you know? So, uh, but I want to still test myself, but I need to do it in a different way. One thing different about today <clears throat> compared to yesterday is my pack fits a little better it was a little stiff from setting so many oh, months I've taken it out I think twice this summer but nothing like this so the other thing is is I lost a little weight from that little adventure yesterday not so much from lack of food but uh, I'm dehydrated There's there's no way around it I can tell every, every time I sit down, my hamstrings are trying to cramp up and stuff. So I could use some sodium and some more water, but <clears throat> I've still got about a liter of water left. So I'll keep on going until we find some more. I've caught a lot of horn toads before, but never one this small. And I've caught some small ones, but man, this guy is tiny. How cool is that? I'm gonna turn him loose here. All right, so we're one day, one night, one morning in, and I already know I should have done this differently. I should have done this more like uh, 
well, I should have done it more like they do on the Alone Show, which is what I'm attempting to try and do. And I should have had uh, Casey drop me off at a place, and I should have stayed in that general uh, general area and not tried to hike 10 miles away from that area to where then when nobody knew where I was and if I can't get in trouble uh, in contact with anyone, you know, I can get in trouble in a hurry. So reevaluating everything. We may just uh, get service, meet Casey around 7 o'clock tonight. Um, there's a forest road I could meet her at. She could grab me tonight, and we could just start this whole thing back over. Uh, there's no doubt I learned a lot from this, um, but I shouldn't have attempted this with no food. If I was going to do this, I should have something I could ration, a couple cliff bars per day or something. You know, I, didn't, I don't have to eat a lot, but... Uh, I'm I'm just depleted and and I can't stop cramping. Um, so I'm gonna look for some food here and I'm gonna make the decision whether I'm gonna call it an evening. It'd be two days, one night, but we'll see how this goes. I'm gonna look for something to eat. All right, guys. Tough decision, but I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to call it quits. I've got about 15% battery life left on this phone. My battery charger uh, is completely depleted. Charged the phone up for about an hour earlier, and and it shut off, so it has no more juice. Uh, I'm gonna use the. 15% battery power that I have left on this phone. I'm going to leave my pack and everything right here where I've been trying to get some, uh, get something to eat. I'm going to go about a mile up the road here. There's a forest service road back behind me. Uh, and I know a particular spot about a mile from here where I can get some service. And I'm going to text Casey. And I'm going to tell her to pick me up around 7 o'clock this evening. That'll give me time to, uh, get down to the service road that I want her to pick me up at, uh, which is still a couple more miles, but I know by the time I come up, go up there and talk to her, uh, or text her anyways, uh, I'm just not going to have any more phone. Um, probably turn the phone off in case I need to talk to her this evening. So anyways, Hey, it was a good shot. It was a good try. I got to get a new battery pack. If I had a battery pack, you know, I'd stay out here, even though I'm hungrier than I've ever been uh I'd I'd get to uh probably this place here until Casey I was just going to stay in this area she'd know where I was at but uh it's more about just not having the phone I can't video and I really want to video everything that I've got going on here so we'll get a new battery pack we'll get right back at it all right see you guys next time